Hey everyone, my name is Eden, and this is my story. Day I was born, the biggest rainbow appeared over the hospital, and my parents thought that I was really special. They always treated me like a princess. Mommy, mommy, I want an airplane. And the very next day, my room was full of all the toy airplanes my parents could find. I always felt loved and had everything in the world, but sometimes I couldn't help wishing I had someone to share it all with. Mommy, I want a little sister. Oh baby, trust me, you don't need anyone. Our lives are perfect just the way they are. But only they weren't. Soon after that day, I'd often hear mom and dad fighting with each other and I noticed they started to drift apart. So I tried my best to keep them together. Mom, dad, you guys wanna watch a movie with me? Your dad's busy, but I can go with you. Maybe we can go tomorrow when you're both free? I think it's just better if we go on our own, love. And my biggest nightmare came true when I turned 14, and my parents denounced that they were getting a divorce. It crushed my heart. Mom decided to move back to her hometown in Missouri, and since Dad was moving away for work, I had no other choice but to go with Mom. But the minute we got there, I got the shock of my life. Mom was freaking rich! She owned a huge house and farms in the town. Mom, how come you never told me about any of this? Well, I just didn't think it was that important. But this was huge to be kept from me. And turns out, that wasn't the only secret she had. Later that evening, I was taking a walk across the grounds ah! when suddenly my legs got caught in a rope and I fell down in cow poop. What the heck? Just then, I saw a girl my age running towards me and she stumbled and fell too. Ouch, my butt. Hey, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry. I was practicing rope throwing and I didn't see you there. That was you? Ugh, now get me out of this. Okay, okay, hold your horses. Um, well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is this is the best knot I ever made and I might have a chance at winning at the rodeo this year. But the bad news is I have no idea how to undo it. What? Are you crazy? Cut it or something. She ran away to look for something and came back with her mom. But just as the lady was untying me, mom came running and pulled her away. What did you do to my daughter? Get away from her. Lily, what, what are you doing here? It's my home too. I can come here anytime I want. And from what I've heard, you've been running the farm at a loss, so I thought I should come look into it. Oh, so you just turn up out of nowhere to tell me my business? I'm shocked you're even showing your face here after what you did. Christy, shut up. Mom took my hand and pulled me out of there. That's when I learned this lady was mom's sister, Christy. And that girl was my cousin, Nancy. And they lived in the house next to ours. And you didn't think this was important to tell me too? What else are you hiding? Do you have another husband and kids too? Eden. I had so many questions, but she was refusing to answer any and it was driving me mad. So I called dad to ask, but he just said, Oh, honey, I can't tell you much, but just remember, your mom needs you. I had no idea what he meant by that, and I was so annoyed at all these secrets. So I just stormed out of the house and went towards the fields. But suddenly, I noticed one of the scarecrows in the fields was moving. <gasps> Holy freaks! I screamed and started running away, but the scarecrow kept following me. And suddenly, it fell on the ground. Ouch! My knees! My knees! Nancy, why are you dressed like that? I, I can't tell you that. My mom told me to stay away from you. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here talking to me? Um, I thought you were hurt when you screamed, so I came to check up on you, but now I'll have to go. Bye. Nancy, wait. I thought she'd know what was going on between my mom and my aunt, but turns out she was just as unaware as me. I offered to be friends with her and she agreed, as long as we kept it a secret from our moms. Now, tell me, why were you actually here? My friends dared me to do this all night, but then they all left me here. She was really innocent and super funny and always made me laugh so hard by mimicking the animals at the farm. At night, she'd sneak into my room with homemade cookies and we'd eat them together while watching our favorite videos. By the time summer was over, we were BFFs. And when mom enrolled me into the same school as Nancy, we both were super excited because now we didn't have to meet in secret. But at school, I learned that Nancy was really naive and a lot of people took advantage of her. Nancy, you shouldn't be doing your friend's homework. It's all right, Eden. My friends say practice makes a man perfect. And if I write all these things so many times, I'll become a genius. 
Sometimes she'd make me want to bang my head against a wall. But at home, it was much worse with mom and aunt's constant fighting. I've been making the decisions regarding the crops all these years. Why did you sell this lot without even asking me? Cause you're dumb and we're suffering losses, so I need to take charge. Suddenly, Aunt Christy picked some tomatoes and threw them right into mom's face. Soon, the view looked like a tomatina festival, and out of nowhere, Nancy threw a tomato at me too. What the heck? Come on, it's fun. It'll convince them we hate each other too. Join in. God, she was crazy. A few nights later, Nancy and I decided to go out for a movie and we had a blast. Oh my God. It was my first time in a movie hall and I loved it so much. We should totally do it again. But then suddenly, a stray dog came barking at us and before I could move, Nancy jumped over the fence and ran at the speed of light, leaving me behind. I wasn't as fast and the dog caught my skirt and ripped it. Just then, a guy came running and shooed the dog away. Hey, are you okay? He helped me off the ground, and I couldn't help noticing how cute he was. He had patches of white hair all over his head, and it looked gorgeous, like art. He introduced himself as Randy, and when he saw me looking at his hair, he explained it was because of a condition called poliosis. Oh, I see. Well, it looks good. Thanks, and here, take this. He took off his jacket and wrapped it around my waist. I hope you'll feel more comfortable now. Cute and such a gentleman. He then walked me back home and as we talked, it turned out he was a senior at school and a national level baseball player. When we reached home, Nancy was waiting for me at the doorstep, but as soon as she saw me, she ran to her house. And now I wasn't gonna talk to her either. Later that night, as I was sleeping, I suddenly woke up to see Nancy waving a torch in my face. What the heck is wrong with you? What the heck is wrong with you? Why were you with that jerk, Randy? You know him? Yeah, he, he's a bad guy and you need to stay away from him. When I asked her to explain more, she refused to tell me and ran away. The next day, I saw Randy in the cafeteria and I was curious to know if he also knew her. So I asked him, hmm, Nancy doesn't ring a bell. But before I could ask more, someone dumped an entire tray of food over me. Nancy, what is the matter with you? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, I just slipped. Well, obviously I knew she didn't, but I didn't want to make a scene, so I just ran to the washroom to clean up. But the moment I stepped out, Randy was waiting there for me with a change of clothes. I had some clean clothes in my locker. They'll be too big, but they should work for now. This guy was just perfect, but I had no idea why Nancy was behaving this way. So that night I went to see Nancy and forced her to tell me why she hated me getting along with Randy. And she gave me the most shocking reply. Cause he's into guys. What? Yeah, I knew his secret, but I didn't want to be the one to break it to anyone. That's why I lied to you that he's a bad guy, so you'd keep away from him and won't get your heart broken. She then showed me pictures of him laughing and holding hands with a guy in a park. What? You could have just told me sooner, you know. I tried to, but you were pissed at me for running away. I'm really scared of dogs because I got bit by one when I was five. Oh, Nancy. I told her not to hide things from me anymore, and I was so glad to have my bestie back. From the next day, I started avoiding Randy whenever I'd see him around school. But one time, he caught me on my way back home. I have no idea why you've been avoiding me, but if I've made a mistake, you should let me know. No, Randy, it's not like that. He then told me it was his birthday and he invited me to the carnival happening in town. At first I was hesitant, but then I remembered how nice he'd been to me and I decided to be a good friend at least. Later that night when I joined him, I realized it was just the two of us, but we had a blast. We played so many games together and Randy won a giant teddy bear for me. After that, we went on the Ferris wheel and when we reached the top, Randy held my hand and pulled me in for a kiss. Randy, get away from me. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you liked me too and... I do, I mean, I did until I found out you like guys. What, who told you that? I told him about those pictures and he burst out <laughs> laughing. Oh my God, who took those? That's my cousin who visited me quite a while ago. And I was holding his hand on our walk because he's blind. I'm not into boys. I like girls, okay? I mean, I really like you. And suddenly, I realized I got played by Nancy, that little witch. Later when I got home, I stormed off to Nancy's place and went straight to her room. I can't believe I trusted you and you lied to me. You did this because you like Randy too, right? Yes, I liked him too, but... Before she could say more, I jumped onto her and we broke into a wild fight. And soon our moms came running to separate us. Girls, stop it. What's going on? 
I told mom all that happened, and Aunt Christy started to laugh hysterically. So, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, I guess. I knew you'd be just like your mother, stealing boyfriends as usual. What did she mean by that? Mom, please stop it. But Aunt went on to tell us that my dad was originally her boyfriend, but Mom made him fall for her. Their parents asked Mom to dump my dad so the sisters could stop fighting, but instead she ran away with him and never came back. I have apologized to you a million times. I'm sorry I hurt you, but we really loved each other. He was my boyfriend. You had no business loving him, and I'm never forgiving you for that. I watched Mom's eyes fill with tears as Aunt Christy asked us to leave. Later at home, I asked Mom if she regretted marrying Dad. No, I don't regret it at all, sweetie. Your dad gave me the best years of my life, but sometimes good things also come to an end. I just wish it hadn't cost me my family. I was too young and stupid to not consider my sister's feelings. I hugged her tight and comforted her, and the next day, I knew just what to do. I walked up to Nancy's room and told her I was going to stay away from Randy. I don't want a boy coming between us. Oh, Eden, it's all my fault. Like I said, I also liked Randy, but my friend showed me all those pictures and I believed them and thought he's gay. And I've lost feelings for him now. But you threw all your food over me that day. I thought you were jealous. It was a genuine accident, I swear. I'm happy if you guys like each other. Oh my God, my little sister was such an innocent baby. But there was one more pair of sisters that we had to reunite, and I had just the perfect plan for it. I called dad and told him everything and asked him to come visit us. Thank you so much for coming, Dad. You don't have to thank me, honey. I should have done this sooner and made things easier for your mom. We then walked towards the fields where both our moms were working, and they looked super shocked to see Dad. What are you doing here? I'm here to apologize to you, Christy. I was the one who fell in love with your sister first, and I was the one who broke your heart. So don't resent her so much, and please forgive both of us. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Christy really and truly. I could see tears in Aunt's eyes as she hugged Mom, and Nancy and I joined in too. After what felt like a lifetime, I saw Mom and Dad smiling at each other, and it made my heart so full. We should never give up on people we love. They are always worth the fight.